everyone and also may I wish you all a happy October. It's starting to become the best time of the year. Autumn, Halloween, winter and then Christmas. I'm just so excited for it all. Um, obviously I've already started my autumn content. I started pretty early but I couldn't resist and it's now time for a video I've been waiting to film for so so long and yeah I just can't wait as you've seen from the title this is my autumn haul um I'm gonna say autumn homeware haul that's what it'll probably be called we've also got some little like bits and bobs in here as well a few beauty bits but pretty much everything is homeware um and I've got a lot. And I'm just going to jump straight on in. So I'm going to start with this item here. This isn't like a typical autumn item. But it just reminded me of autumn. And it is this wooden like crate box. I'm actually obsessed with this. So especially in America I see a lot of... <sighs> As if my camera batch has just come on red. I charged you overnight. What are you doing? I guess I'm filming this later on. Okay, so we're back. Probably about an hour later and I am praying this battery lasts. So as I was saying, on with the first item. We didn't get very far. Um, and I picked up this sort of like rustic crate on the front it just says like apples um and i just thought it was so nice so it's a dark colored wood um with the metal corners so it does look very rustic something like this i'm not surprised about the price this was 17 pounds um definitely worth it and i can't wait to put I don't know, I think it would be really cool just with like some pumpkins in there. You could just pop like a cushion inside, like an autumn cushion. And yeah, I think this would be really, really nice to style underneath a like console table. Um, so yeah, can't wait to style this up. I thought I'd stick with the wood theme and I picked up this mini wooden sort of like table. Um, and I've seen so many people style these in a kitchen just on like a counter with a candle on, maybe some matches. Literally you could put anything on there and I think, I don't know, it just adds a bit of something to the kitchen side. You don't have to use it in a kitchen, you can use it in a bedroom, living room, just like on a table. Um, and I just thought it was really nice and again like really rustic. Yeah, I just, I love the typical like american fall decorations and even though this isn't like an autumn fall decoration it's wood and wood just reminds me of that time of year so i love this again this was 5.99 both um of the the crate and the mini table are both from tk maxx so love that so these next items i'm going to show you two and they're very very cute um, and it's actually like a dog accessory so I picked up two autumn jumpers for my dogs a bigger one for Winston and then a little baby one for Doris um, of course I had to get the matching and they do look very very cute if I do say so myself and yeah not much more to say about that really wanted to get them a winter jumper and it's you don't necessarily need like a dog jumper in autumn at the start anyway but it's starting to get quite cold out colder than i normally would think it gets it literally feels like winter outside right now um so saw these and i just love the color as well i really wanted a neutral color and they both fit perfectly so these were both from tk maxx as well the bigger one was 9.99 and then the little one was 7.99 so such a bargain and yeah super cute Sticking with animal accessories, I thought I might as well show you these as well now. Um, and I got some mini costumes for them. I say costumes, they're just headwear. 
So for Winston, I got him a little bat hat. This looks so cute. Um, if you don't already, my dogs have an Instagram account. Pretty sure their name is just Winston and Doris underscore. Um, it will be linked on my Instagram anyway if you do want to give them a follow. But there will be plenty of pictures of them dressed up for Halloween. And this one is for Winston. It looks a bit like Toothless the Dragon. Not going to lie. But it is supposed to be a bat. So you've got the little bat wings. There's some little holes, if you can see, for his ears to go through. And then a chin strap as well. So cute. And then for Doris, I picked up a little witch hat with a elastic to go under her chin. And they actually stay on really well. I thought they're never going to keep them on. They're just going to like give the head a little shake and they'll come off. But they stay on really well. These were from Pets for Home. Pretty sure they're only about £3 each. So such a bargain. And yeah, if you want to have a laugh on Halloween, then get your dog a little hat next i picked up two little bowls from tk maxx these are ray dunn and ray dunn has become so i don't know like extinct i used to see it in tk maxx all the time wasn't that fussed about it and now the fact you can't really find it anywhere in england anyway i want everything they do such cute um candles and mugs and i just want them all i've been looking people are reselling them for ridiculous prices but i found two little orange bowls saying boo on them they were 3.99 each and i'm not sure if they're meant to be dog bowls they look like the dog bowl shape i could use them for dog bowls i did actually think about it to start with one for Winston, one for doris um as their halloween snack bowl but i think i'm just going to use it for human snacks like i could put some crisps in there some nuts on halloween movie night and i just think that would be really cute so i think i might just use them for human food bowls um because yeah they're so cute and 3.99 when people would be reselling these for like 30 pounds is such a bargain so they only had two in there, so sorry if you're going to go and have a look, because I had both of them. I wasn't going to leave one behind, and yeah, I just think they're so cute. I do have some other plates from Ray Dunn, which would have been in last year's Autumn Haul, um, and yeah, I love them, so I had to grab these ones too. So some beauty bits now, and if you don't know, the Body Shop have their Vanilla Pumpkin range out, and I'm obsessed, so... Of course, I had to pick up the whipped body butter in vanilla pumpkin. If you don't know, get to know. Smells insane. I've used quite a bit already. Might have to pick another one up before the season's over. Because I'm not sure if I could go a whole year without having that in my life. Another thing to go with is the hand cream. Again, vanilla pumpkin. It smells amazing. I haven't really used this yet. I also picked up the Pumpkin Spice Lip Juicer. This, I don't know if this is new actually, because I can't remember seeing this last year. Someone let me know if it's new. Um, but it is a little pointed lip balm. Pumpkin Spice, it smells amazing. It gives your lips a bit of like a ready orange tint. Um, it's a little bit like sparkling shimmery as well. But it looks so nice. And yeah like it says it's a lip juicer makes your lips nice and juicy and now i know this one is definitely new this is the body shop pumpkin instant radiance in shower mask this it doesn't smell like the typical like pumpkin spice candles you get it literally smells like the vegetable a pumpkin if you gave a good whiff of the inside of a pumpkin that's what it smells like um it doesn't smell bad, it's just different. Um, still makes me feel very festive, so love to pop this on in the bath. It says in shower mask because the lady in the shop said to me, don't leave it on longer than five minutes because you won't get it off. Not going to lie, sorry if you're watching this, probably not because why would you be? Um, 
but I do keep it on longer than five minutes and with my flannel with a good scrub I can get it off but yeah I get a bit carried away and keep it on longer than I should and then the last beauty product this is from Bath and Body Works I know what you're thinking how did I get my hands on this Next, if you don't know, Next sells some Bath and Body Works things, candles, body care, etc. But they're out of stock now, so they might get more in, so keep looking. But I picked up the Fine Fragrance Mist in Warm Vanilla Sugar. Smells insane. I've used this quite a bit and it's only down to here. So it lasts really well as well and yeah i literally just smell like sugar and i love it so i'll show you this next i picked up a little baking set this is so cute so it's a mini bamboo and silicon mini utensil set in here you get a half spreader spoon pointed spatula basting brush is that how you pronounce it and a whisk i'm obsessed so I'll bring you a bit closer so you can see what is on the utensils. Look how cute they are. So autumn-y, got a little pumpkin, some leaves. I'm obsessed with the colours as well. So when I saw these, I had to pick them up. They were only £5.99 and yeah, I just think they're so cute. And the fact they're mini isn't a problem. So yeah, can't wait to do some autumn baking with these. So next i think i might just go into the candles because all the candles are relatively close to me so onto the candles the first one i picked up the biggest one it's huge and it is this maple praline candle this one is so so sweet i'm not going to give it a big sniff i can smell it from here i did smell it earlier and I felt a bit ill for the rest of the day because it is so sweet. So the brand is DW Home and I absolutely love DW Home candles. All the candles I picked up are DW Home. Uh, this one was 12 99 so for a candle as big as my head, that's good. The next candle is in the scent Apple Honey Butter. And look how cute that is. I absolutely love the checker bow that goes around the edge. And it's also got a little, if I can bring you in closer, a little metal leaf on there as well. And I just think that looks so nice. And yeah, definitely autumn vibes. This one again smells insane. Just, it says inside, brown sugar apples and cinnamon with clove, nutmeg and caramel honey drizzle with pure maple syrup. So again, a very sweet smelling candle. Smells amazing though. And yeah, you could just literally sit this on the side with the lid off and it would fill the room with the scent. Um, yeah, love this. This one was 5 99 It's a bit smaller, um, but yeah, a really, really good price again. Now, this candle is probably my favourite autumn full candle I have ever, ever found. Not necessarily for the scent, but the packaging. Are you all ready? So, I picked this up from Home Sense. Never ever seen one like this before. Also from DW Home. And it is in the scent Pumpkin Patch. Yeah, Pumpkin Patch. Are you ready to see the lid? Look how bloody nice that is. So it's literally like carved in the lid it's a 3d lid of a pumpkin patch i can't get over that it was 9.99 so such a bargain for this and i thought that little wooden table i showed you earlier to sit on the side i thought this candle sat on there with a little box of matches next to it chef's kiss i'm obsessed with this candle if you see this candle in your local B&M, B&M? If you see it in your local B&M, you'd be lucky. If you've seen it in your local TK Maxx or Home Sense, grab it while you can because I expect, I expect they'll be going fast. Another scented item and it is a 
home spray, like a room spray. I just love that colour. How do how do companies again? It's DW Home, so I'm not surprised. But it's a dark, like brown colour glass with a wooden lid. <sighs> Smells insane. The scent. I haven't even told you what scent it is. It's in pumpkin latte, so it's really like coffee as well. It's not even a word, but you know what I mean. And I'm obsessed. Next, I got a mug. As you all know, I'm I'm a mug lover. I whenever I go somewhere, I will buy a mug. Is that normal? But today I've only got two to show you. And the first one's from TK Maxx. And it's a little glass mug. I'll have to bring you in. But it's got a little witch hat inside. And the handle is a broom. I'm sorry, how cute is that? I'm literally obsessed. The only thing is though, I it feels so fragile and I'm scared to have a hot drink out of it. Obviously I will one day. Um, but yeah, they don't actually have many um, autumn mugs or Halloween mugs as a train, bear with. So they haven't actually had many autumn or Halloween mugs in TK Maxx this year. So when I saw the first one, I had to grab it. And yeah, so cute. Hand wash only, obviously, because it is so fragile. And it was 4 I'm not sure if I already said that. But again, a good price for a mug. So love this. This next item I saw on someone's Instagram. I can't remember her name. I'm going to find her and tell you all. Because if you like cosy content, like if you love autumn, Halloween, just cosy things, then you are going to love this girl's account. So her Instagram is the Alexander's Nest. So I'm pretty sure it's like a home account. And she just posts all things autumn and Halloween. And I love it. I saw her with this and... I didn't ask where she got it from, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to go on a hunt for this. I found one on eBay, £20 and £30 postage, so didn't buy that. So I just put it past me, forgot about it. A week later I went to TK Maxx and found it, and it was £3.99. Imagine if I bought that one from eBay. So I'm just going to show you what it is. I've been keeping you waiting too long. It's not that exciting, really. But it's a little metal pumpkin trivet. I didn't know it was called a trivet either until I bought this. So basically, obviously when that's on your kitchen side, you pop your hot pans on here from the stove. So yeah. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this. They also had like spider web ones and skull ones. Not my vibe though. So of course I picked up a little gold pumpkin one and I'm obsessed. From Home Sense, I picked up this little set of pumpkin salt and pepper shakers. So cute. These were 3 dollars You got two different shaped ones. And when, when I got home and had a look really closely... It looks like there's little fine cracks in them. Don't think they're supposed to be there, but I'm just going to have to be really careful with them. Only 3 99 so I can't complain. Um, but you get a little normal shaped pumpkin and then a sort of like taller, thinner shaped one as well. Just looks so cute. And yeah, I just thought they'd be a really nice addition to a autumn table. So if you saw my home sense haul, you would have seen I bought some items very similar to this. And I picked up some tea towels. So in my Home Sense haul, I bought some oven gloves and an apron in this pattern. And when I went back and seen that they also do a tea towel, I had to grab it. So you get this patterns one, the same pattern as the others. And then a plain white waffle one as well. And yeah, these were 4 99 I'm obsessed with this pattern. I just think it's so nice. It's not like the typical 
autumn halloween pattern but it's just so cute it still has the oranges in and yeah obsessed so i think i i can't go to tk maxx or home sense without looking at the coffee syrups um and i've picked up a few so the first one is the jordan's skinny syrup in brown sugar cinnamon i've had one of these before i loved it just i don't know i'm not sure if i'm a fan of it in coffee because it makes it really really sweet but i have a little bit in a hot chocolate so nice um i don't have loads because like i said it can make it too sweet um but yeah they are very nice this was i'm not sure how much i think these are roughly about 3.99 price isn't on here but i'm pretty sure that's how much it is so for the fact the amount you get that's a really really good price and then the other syrups i picked up are actually in a little set and i picked up the dessert fall trio um you get three in here so the first one is maple donut and then you've got pumpkin cinnamon roll which sounds insane and also pumpkin caramel scone no words so yeah they all sound amazing and i cannot wait to try them i'm sure i will let you all know very soon so now the items that i have left to show you are the most exciting items let's just go so the first item is a little pumpkin this is a little white and black spotty pumpkin with a little silver stalk how cute is that i've looked for a spotty pumpkin for ages i watched one of zoella's old autumn hauls and she had a big spotty pumpkin I was obsessed so i've been on the hunt for one this is from pretty little home on instagram um and i believe it was around 14 pounds so not too bad and it's a proper like ceramic pumpkin um and yeah just super cute i honestly cannot wait to decorate my room so that is the first item next up i have two items how cute are they so these are little like is it ramen dishes is that what they're called i don't know but i've got two little pumpkin dishes a little orange one and a little white one these are from next it comes in the set of two i think they were 20 pounds 15 to 20 pounds um so a good price and i just thought to do like a little dessert in each of these it's just so cute and i cannot wait to use them as soon as i saw them on there i had to buy them there was nothing stopping me from buying these nothing next i picked up a even bigger pumpkin dish so this is the medium sized casserole dish it's in the white color again this one was £24. It's a good size and again super cute with a little gold stalk. I just cannot wait to do some, um, like a pumpkin casserole. I haven't even heard of a pumpkin casserole before but I think that would be delicious. And yeah, that's, it's just so cute. I can't get over it. And then I picked up a even bigger dish so this is the large pumpkin casserole dish um in the color orange of course this one was 30 pounds so of course a bit more pricey but look at the size of it but they also did like a pie dish which i was very tempted to get but i thought i can always get another day you know so yeah picked up just the four for now so it's now time to show you some of my favourite items and yeah, they're all from the Disney store. I know, I'm 21, buying from the Disney store, but who can blame me? Look at this mug, 
look at that autumn mug you can't get any more autumn than that so yeah i picked this mug up it's got a little pumpkin and then mickey as a pumpkin on top and on the back it says trick or treat i was debating whether to buy this and the other items for so 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 long and i thought did i really need them am i going to use them and i thought yes yes i do need them and yes i will use them so this is the first item i picked up no regrets buying this either this was 19 pounds 19.99 maybe 20 pounds around 20 pounds so expensive for a mug but this mug not going to complain next is a little tea light holder i'm obsessed how cute is that a little tea light inside glowing through his face and on the back it says boo i just love autumn and now this is one of the last items and look at him how cute is that um if it's hard to see basically it's a mickey mouse pumpkin with a giant mouth which you can put your hand in this is a giant snack bowl i've seen pictures of people put sweets in here put popcorn in here literally anything and i cannot wait to do that i can't wait so this is going to be my halloween movie night pumpkin snack bowl and on the back again it says trick or treat so i just thought that was so cute and yeah you can never be old for disney anyway so yeah had to pick him up and i'm very very happy i did and now the last item i picked up i can't physically show you i could originally but i got too impatient of waiting to film this and it is a duvet set i will pop it on screen now because it's currently on my bed and you're on my bed but i pre-filmed a little clip of it it's a pumpkin duvet set with little gray speckles all over and orange different shaped and sized pumpkins um and i'm pretty sure it's reversible as well because the other side is orange with mini white pumpkins um but yeah it just makes my room feel so cozy before i've even put any of my decor out so i love that so much i did have to pick up king size um set even though i've got a double they ran out of doubles and I couldn't not get it. So I had to go the king size. It's all good though. And yes, yeah, so that is everything I picked up this autumn slash fall haul. A fall haul. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. So yeah, it's probably going to be a very, very long video. But I hope you grab yourself a drink beforehand. I should have told you this at the start. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching and I will see you in my next video.